Hey, what's up there, guys? It's the Money Gov Cod here, and today I have for you guys some survival gameplay on the map Carbon. In this gameplay, right now we're on round 25, it is wave 26 actually, right now. And it goes well, we got to 32, and then unfortunately we died. But yeah, this is the farthest I've ever gotten on survival, mostly because I never play survival mode. Survival mode to me, it's just, it's exactly online, except with dumb, boring robots that aren't really good, even though we kind of died, but that was because like some, I think it was the juggernauts or something like that, or the helicopters, but it's, it's just so boring and I don't know, it's just so plain, like seriously, I don't know why they even put this in here. I mean, I see, I mean, I thought it was going to be kind of a big thing, you know, like, here we're gonna replace zombies with some survival mode and I was like alright that seems pretty good you know survival you're surviving zombies you survive you know it's kinda, it's, it's gonna be uh, kinda like zombies but just a little better you know it's not that whatsoever it's just very boring I, I don't ever play it anymore I haven't played it in like months but this uh, the spec ops missions if they didn't have spec ops missions this game would be I mean, it still wouldn't be an utter failure, but just Model for 3 in general, I just don't like it. It got boring a while ago, especially mostly because survival mode didn't pan out like it's supposed to, and also Spec Ops. No one really likes Spec Ops. I'm not gonna lie, like, I actually kind of like the Spec Ops. I guess I'm like the only one of my friends, because if I ask anyone if they want to play Spec Ops, or even sometimes ask if they want to play survival, you know, if I get really bored online. But mostly I never ask for survival because it's really boring. Trust me, guys. If you, you guys can, like, try it out, though. But if you guys definitely want to get on a high round, this could be an easy way doing exactly what we're doing on Carbon. Uh, that's just if you want to try to get an achievement for survival for, like, getting a high round or something. This is definitely an easy way to do it. But, yeah, I, I, I like the Spec Ops missions. I mean, they're pretty fun. It, I hate playing on, what's it called? The hardest one, like expert or something. Uh, I don't care if I get the achievements for the stars. I'm not gonna sit there and not enjoy myself just because I gotta retry the same mission like 20 times. But yeah, they're pretty fun for the most part if you play them on easier medium. But yeah, survival, it's not my thing. But today I want to talk to you guys about PS3. All you PS3 users, you know, might get a PS3 soon. My Twitter and my Facebook, my live stream, update you guys on that. Uh, using silent survival mode game versus not using them. Black Ops and Grand Theft Auto. So, uh, this is an 11 minute video, so I'm going to try to talk to you guys about all that in this one video. Hopefully you guys stay tuned because, I mean, the uh, gameplay, I mean, it's kind of exciting, you know. Most people probably already clicked off or didn't click it on click didn't not click on it at all because it's survival mode but i mean hey that's their choice you know but i'm still gonna bring you guys some exciting commentary you know like i usually do we're well, not really exciting just like newsworthy newsworthy it's where you guys want to hear me all right so hey my channel has been doing really good lately 2200 something subs like probably 230 right now that is like oh my gosh i just want to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing each one of you guys especially people that have been with me from the beginning i just want to thank you guys too just six months ago when i made this channel i had an old channel the mighty god of cod and that channel had like 2,000 subs but like barely any of them barely any of them were active because i would go i, would, I went on like vacation to austria which is in germany and I was gone for like a few weeks. I think it was a month. I don't even remember. But yeah, and then sometimes I got lazy and I didn't post. Because basically I didn't have any drive back then. And yeah, I didn't post. So I didn't have a lot of active subscribers. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to redo this whole YouTube thing. I'm going to start fresh. Hopefully my subscribers from the Mighty God of Cod will come over. And only about like 300 of them did of like the 2,000. But I mean, it's still a lot. And yeah, they came over for a fresh new start. I said, I'm not going to upload any more crappy gameplays. Because, I mean, I'd get, like, kind of a bad reputation for posting kind of, like, so-so gameplays. 
for on the mighty have cod when i had really good ones i just saved them all up and kind of hoarded them for no reason but yeah started fresh the mighty have cod new year it was literally i literally made this uh channel new year like i was like new year new drive new like objective new everything i started fresh especially since it was the new year <laughs> so yeah it's been doing pretty good got 80 85,000, 80, that means 85,000, well not 85,000 people viewed it, because I imagine some of you guys have watched probably like, maybe half my videos at least, so probably good, I want to say maybe 2,000, maybe 10,000 people have viewed my video, and I just want to say, dang, that's, that's pretty good, you know, I'm liking it, I'm liking the channel, and yeah. So to reward that, I mean, I might get a PS3 for all you PS3 users. My friend keeps on going down. I don't know what's going on. He's usually a really good player. But yeah, for all you PS3 users who always ask me, Hey, do you have a PS3 or do you play on PS3? Can you add me on PS3? I'm like, oh, I don't really have a PS3. I'm more of an Xbox 360 guy. But, I mean, I was just, I was on eBay and they had like a sale for like a uh, PS3 so I checked it out it was like $200 for a 120 gigabyte PS3 and I was like dang that's a pretty good price but then I was like wait 120 gigabytes that's a lot what if I try to get one with like 20 gigabyte or 40 gigabyte and I looked around and I could probably get uh, like a 20 or 40 gigabyte PS3 for about $150 or so it's I mean it's kind of a money factor but it's kind of not it just depends if like, cause I mean I'm probably I'm not sure if I would keep it forever, cause it's kind of dumb to have a PS3 and an Xbox, even though I'm sure a ton of you guys have both. But I just don't really get that. Like, oh I'm gonna go play Xbox. Oh wait, let me go play PS3. Just switching back and forth, especially if you don't have two TVs. Uh, but yeah, I don't even have two TVs. What am I thinking? I would have to put it downstairs or something. I I don't know. Uh, I'll figure that all out later, you know. I'm probably not even going to end up getting it. But if I do end up getting it, you know, I'm not going to be like one of those guys. I mean, I'm going to try not to be one of those guys where like, hey, can you guys donate to me uh, to get a PS3? I'm probably just going to ask pe like people who have a PS3 or even if you don't have a PS3. If you want to play with me, you know, donate. Uh, maybe, I don't know, $5 or so. I'll be willing to add you and play with you anytime you want no homo included whatsoever in that but yeah my ps xbox 360 i know like i'm good friends with like at least half of uh my friends on there and i've at least like play with them a lot so like 50 people that's like half my friends list right there and then you know people add me you know and i usually try not to delete them but ps3 i barely know i might know like maybe five ten people that have a ps3 like in real life and on my xbox um user uh list so you know most of them would just be subscribers especially subscribers who i don't, I don't know it's just you guys in general anyone with ps3 so just let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that and yeah so i might get one might not all depends so twitter and facebook if you guys have not figured this out i have a twitter and i have a facebook i have a personal twitter and a personal facebook which like some of you guys added me when I put like my it was like a message yeah, it was like one of those after things like if my video runs over and I forgot to close out for like the end of the video ends I usually put up like a funny blooper or some funny message or whatever and yeah I did that with my name on it like a few people added me on my personal Facebook which I'm cool with that just as long as you guys I mean I would add all you guys on my personal Facebook so you know you keep in touch with me personally but, I mean, you have some of those people who will be, like, extra, I, I mean, I'm not, like, they'll be, like, extra fanboys, and they'll be like, hey, man, you're gonna post a video soon? I mean, I mean, I'm cool with that, but, I mean, other people will, like, see it, I don't know, it might ruin my rep, you know, I'm not trying to sound, like, cocky or, like, whatever. But, yeah, I have a Facebook for my YouTube and a Facebook for my Twitter, so every time I post a video, and look at me going, ham, hey, I'm just... I'm just going straight. I'm not even spraying. I'm just not letting go of the trigger. <laughs> That's all it is. So yeah, I have a Facebook and a Twitter. On Twitter, every time I post a video and like a video, it shows on there. 
So that's definitely the best way to keep in touch with me and my videos. On Facebook, I don't know how to link it to where every time I post a video, it like updates my Facebook. So I just go in there maybe once a week or two and just add like my latest video or my best video in the past few weeks. So yeah, definitely follow me on Twitter and add my Facebook. It will be in the description below. And those freaking <laughs> sentry guns are uh, blocking me. But yeah, go ahead, follow me on Twitter. Add me up on Facebook, you know, keep in touch, like my fan, I have a little D-Money Got Cod fan page, uh, I just made like a regular old Facebook though, I don't really know how to do all that. Alright, so, live stream, if you guys have not known, you guys should know by now, especially the past few videos, I have a live stream, and I have like 25 followers now, you know, that's pretty good, so, and I have like 500 views, so... I'm digging that, you know, every time I live stream, I usually, last night I got like, I don't know, like, oh, look at all those people, <laughs> I got like five viewers or three viewers, something like that, and some of you guys are like three viewers, what the heck, you have like 200 subscribers, I know that's what I'm saying, I thought like live streaming, I'd get like a lot more viewers, but apparently it doesn't really work like that, but yeah, like I, I had like 10 viewers one time, so you know, as long as you 10 viewers, are really into my like gameplay or live stream I'm gonna keep on doing it but I can't live stream for a little bit because I'm going on vacation so thank you guys for watching guys please like and subscribe and peace I'm out guys